Hey YouTube, Nick Too Sick here back with another fishing video. It's January 2020 and uh, I'm back at it again. I want to take this time to uh, thank everybody still with me. I know uh, I've been absent over the past year and um, I don't want to get too much into that but um, on a personal level 2019 was pretty much the worst year of my life. Um, I lost everything. Uh, you know, my family, my job, my house, my business, my boat. Uh, I almost lost my mother, you know, everything all came crashing down at once. And um, I needed to go into recovery and, um, you know, do some emotional and spiritual growth. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd become very toxic and I needed to clean up my life and, um, you know, get sober, things like that. So, um, with that being said, I'm back, you guys, and um, I'm in it for the long run this time. Um, it's about longevity for this channel for me now that I have my focus and clarity in my life together again. So we're back at it, guys. And um, again, I just want to thank everybody who's stuck with me over the past year, even though I haven't been around. So I appreciate you guys a lot. And um, now it's uh, my turn to um, give back to you guys. Um, what you deserve, and uh, so let, let's get straight into it. Um, I haven't been fishing a lot this month. Um, you know, it helps me clear my mind first and foremost. Uh, fishing is absolutely a cure for depression. So, I mean, if you are, are going through a lot in your life, um, and, and you're experiencing some things that I, I might have previously described, I just want to take this time to let you know, you guys, I, I'm here to listen to anybody. Uh, if you shoot me a message, I'll gladly um, speak to you about, you know, just about anything you're going through. So keep that in mind as well, that um, I'm, I'm here to support you guys since you support me so well. So um, getting straight into it, it's January, you guys. I pan fish in January for the most part. Uh, you know, I'm a Delta rat. I catch everything that swims in the Delta. So uh, I'll just talk about what I've been doing first and foremost is uh, going after crappie crappie are uh, you know it's more towards the end of the spawn right now but um, the crappie are, are flooded um, throughout you know four to six feet of water in the delta right now and um, I'm just catching some really really quality slabs this year I am basically throwing a, um, a popsicle grub this is a two inch grub the color is called popsicle as you can see it's got a chartreuse tail with a split body, purple and um, pink. I, I like to throw this on a white 32 ounce jig head and I'll simply just, I throw this out uh, and just slowly roll it across the bottom. Uh, you know, let the slabs eat it and um, do not set the hook, feel that bite, reel up and slightly pull. You know, these animals have really, really sensitive mouths. So, um, I fish that on a two pound monofilament line. I prefer a little bit of stretch um, when when I'm dealing with um, crappie. So uh, I, I'll take the drag all the way down and uh, really I just make sure that I'm not pulling um, on the line too hard because that's how you, these animals are really easy to just pull right out uh, off the hook. So I'm also catching some really, really good red ear shell crackers um, to me I'll be honest with you guys a one pound bass a one pound crappie a one pound catfish a one pound striper if you're talking about sheer weight I personally don't think there's a better fighting fish than the red ear in the delta um, I know when I hook a red ear because it's 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 that noticeable um, they fight harder than bass but the main difference is they go down a bass will come up to the surface and try to shake you do aerials that sort of thing but these um, red ear just absolutely dive and just dig and um, they'll they're, they're fun man they're really really fun to catch if you're using the right gear let me show you my slapstick Oh, 
Well, this is my slab stick right here. It's a 13 Defy. You know, nothing really special with a nice uh, Abu spinner on there. It's nothing really special, you know. Uh, I don't feel the need to go crazy on my pan fishing reel, you know. Um, but, yeah, this is what I'm catching those red ear on. This is, again, this is just the same kind of concept. Um, this setup is by Big Bite Baits. You know, um, it's orange and yellow. Um, two inch grub, you know, it's got an inch of tail, an inch of body, and I just got like a, a half chartreuse, half orange, um, 32 ounce jig head. That's what I like, 32, 132 ounce jig head. So that's how I'm catching panners. On the days I am going for largemouth, um, basically I'm just throwing an underspin right now. This is my go to. This is, um, you know, Spin Tricks by uh, Blade Runner with, you know, just some kind of Kitek or something on the back. And uh, this is money all winter long. Can't beat that. Um, you know, this is just a little open hook presentation. Throw that. Um, some, I'm even throwing it in gold, depending, you know, where I'm fishing. I like to fish where there's gold shiners and over there's shad. So, you know, those are the two colors that I'll throw. And sometimes... I'll even throw red. This is a, um, what is this called? A, a, a flashbang is what this is. It's got the tungsten head on it. With the, I actually um, swapped out this blade for a red one um, to just give it a little more red flash with a, you know, black cherry Kitek on there. So I'll throw that, um, you know, where animals are feeding on craw. And I just, just match the hatch. But, um, uh, my little baby right now, January, February, December, is, uh, I'm actually, I can't remember what this is called, uh, but it's like just a take on the little old school buddy blade. This is made by uh, Blade Runner. As you can see, it's just a little hard-bodied um, lure with this tail on the back that just kicks and vibrates and gives a really nice presentation and what I like about this particular lure is the line through system which the treble hook goes you know right through there so what I like about this is you know on the rare occasion I get hung up with this I could just bend out that hook and replace it and it's nice and easy and simple and this thing catches fish in the Delta um, in any lake or river, you're going to catch bass with this. So check that out. I got that at the ISC show in Sacramento, the Blade Runner booth. Um, I, again, I can't remember what that's called. So, And, um, you know, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, obviously, I'll throw a jig, too. Uh, this is a year-round bait that um, can never really not produce. So... I'll just, I'll slow drag this thing under docks. My, my deal is I throw jigs around wood and docks. Um, I don't throw them in the grass that much. I, I just like to position myself parallel to the dock. Freaking bang that thing all the way down the, the dock parallel as I can. The dock's here. I'm throwing here. And uh, just slow dragging it through. The fish are a little bit deeper right now, so... Uh, when I'm in like the Discovery Bay 